Ever wonder how your phone matches faces or Google finds similar images? It's not magic, it's math. And today, we're exploring one algorithm that makes it happen, SIFT. SIFT stands for Scale Invariant Feature Transform. It helps computers detect and describe important parts of an image. Now, why do we even need SIFT? Let's say you take a picture of a landmark from far away and your friend clicks it up close from another angle. How do machines know it's the same building? That's where SIFT shines. SIFT finds consistent patterns in an image, no matter the scale, angle, or lighting. Think of it like a superpower for vision. Here's where it's used. Face recognition, AR, self-driving cars, and even stitching photos into panoramas. Pretty cool, right? So how does it work? Let's break it down step by step. Step one, convert to grayscale. We simplify the image by removing color. Why? Because the algorithm focuses on edges and textures, not color tones. Step two, scale space construction. SIFT resizes the image several times to detect features at different scales. It builds a pyramid of images from larger to smaller. Step three, difference of Gaussians, a dog. It blurs each image and subtracts adjacent layers to highlight where significant changes happen, usually corners or edges. Step four, key point detection. Now the algorithm scans the dog images for key points, places where contrast stands out compared to neighbors. Step five, key point localization. We don't want unstable or weak key points, so SIFT filters them out keeping only strong, well-placed ones. Step six, orientation assignment. Every good key point needs direction. By analyzing nearby gradients, SIFT assigns each key point an orientation. This helps in rotation and variant matching. Step seven, descriptor generation. Now comes the fingerprint. Around each key point, a descriptor, a 128-dimensional vector is created. It describes the local image structure. These descriptors are the real heroes. Two images of the same object might look different to us, but their key points will match if their descriptors are close. So what happens when we compare two images? We match their descriptors. If enough key points align, the algorithm says, hey, this looks familiar. Let's see an example. Imagine a drone flying over a building from different heights. SIFT can match features regardless of height or angle. Want another? Augmented reality apps scan your room. SIFT detects key points on your furniture to place virtual objects realistically. Still with me? Let's review SIFT's strengths. Its scale and rotation invariant works well even with noise or cluttered backgrounds and delivers reliable matches. But there are trade-offs. It's computationally heavy and slower than newer options like ORB, and it was patented until 2020, which limited its adoption in open source tools. So why learn SIFT today? Because it teaches the foundation of feature detection. Modern algorithms still rely on similar principles. By understanding SIFT, you understand how AI sees, how it picks what's important and ignores the rest. If you're into computer vision or data science, this is core knowledge. SIFT is more than a buzzword, it's a cornerstone. And guess what? You can try it yourself using OpenCV in Python. Just a few lines of code and you can see key points in action. Thanks for watching. Hit like if you learned something new and subscribe for more beginner-friendly AI guides. Got a question about SIFT or want a live coding demo? Drop it in the comments.